For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now, if each chord can sustain a maximum tension of 50 newtons before it fails, find the greatest weight of the flower that the flower pot can be in order for this course to support it. Now they're telling you that these three chords each one can sustain a maximum of 50 newtons. So how heavy can this be? This whole pot be. Let's pretend this is a chain. So you got the weight of the flower pot. So what you want to find is you want to find which one of these three chords in this system is greater and then whichever one's greater set it equal to 50 newtons and then solve the system for WF. So that's the plan. So let's say that at A we got these three forces so at A the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. So force A from A to D, negative sine of 30 degrees, because you know that this angle is 30, so AD sine of 30 will give you this vector, and AC sine of 30 will give you this vector. So minus AD sine of 30 plus AC sine of 30 is equal to zero. So from this equation, you can draw the conclusion that AC is equal to AD. I'm sorry, I wrote them backwards. AD. Now, some of the forces in the C direction are also equal to zero. So you know that. Let's find some, a new point. I'm going to call this point right here E. So this is the projection of AD and AC onto the CY plane. AE is equal to AC cosine of 30. That is also equal to AD cosine of 30 because they are both equal. So AE is basically the projection of these two forces, whichever one, into the C and Y plane. So you know that the sum of the forces in the C is equal to 2, because we have two projections. We have the projection of AD and AC times AE cosine of 60, because you know that the angle between the C axis and the AE projection is 60 degrees, given right here, plus AB cosine of 45, this angle 45 right here because this cable is also sustaining this flower pot, minus W, the weight of the flower pot, is equal to zero. So when you start solving, solving this, basically you're going to plug this in to this one, and you're going to get that 2 times 0.433 times AC plus AB times 0 0.707 is equal to W. So in conclusion, 0 0.866 AC plus 0 0.707 AB is equal to W. We got another equation that we're going to use. Now you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is also equal to zero. So now we're going to do the Y. And you know that minus 2 AE, we're working with the projection again sine of 60 plus AB sine of 45 is equal to 0. So minus 1.5 AC, we are basically again plugging this AC cosine of 30 for AE right here and we get minus 1.5 AC plus 0 0.707 AB is equal to 0. We got this equation. So basically what I'm going to do now is multiply this by negative 1 and you're going to get that 1.5 AC minus 0 0.707 AB is equal to 0.
and I'm gonna rewrite this equation I'm gonna rewrite it just at the bottom of this and you're gonna get that 0.866 AC plus 0.707 AB is equal to W so when you add these two equations together you see that these two cancel out and you get 2.366 AC is equal to W which means that AC is equal to 0.423 W but you know that AC is equal to AD therefore AD is also equal to 0.423 W now you can plug this uh, 2 in into another equation in order to be able to find the uh, last one which will be the last one that we're missing is AB so you could plug them into here let's say or here for that matter and when you plug these values the value for AC into this one to find AB you're gonna find that AB is equal to 0.896 W now let me open a new page and show you something so with everything that we did so far we found that AC is equal to 0.423 W AD is equal to 0.423 W and last but not least AB is equal to 0.896 W now you know that just by looking at this AB is bigger than the other two if AB is bigger than the other two that means that this cord is holding the greatest part of the weight of the pot therefore AD is equal to 50 because it's going to be the one sustaining the most weight if AB is equal to 50 and you know that AB is equal to 0.896W then 50 is equal to 0.896W which means that W is equal to 55.8 newtons so basically all the work that we did is to find which one has the greatest amount of the weight when we found which one holds the, the greatest amount of the weight then we set that one equal to 50 which is the maximum that the cords can handle and then we solve for the weight and we got the maximum amount of weight that the flower pot can be in order for the system of cords to be able to maintain equilibrium and not fail final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you